Hey guys, welcome back. It's Mika from Yes Please Planning. I'm going to show you the main sticker binders that I use and some of the other storage that I use. And it's not a, not a collection walkthrough. I'm actually showing you sort of what worked in my mind for organizing and what's not working. Just a warning, I know you're used to seeing me do lots of pretty X, Y, and Z. This is none of that. <laughs> this is all just pure function, hodgepodge, put it together just so that it can work. Okay, so let's, let me show you what I've got. If you follow me on Instagram, then you've seen my planner desk. When it's organized, I have these containers um, on the desktop and I started putting these pouches in here to house some of the stuff and this is where I have been keeping my my word strips it's actually been a really good system I tend to go for these in pretty much every planner spread journaling page that I do so I just keep them all here and don't bother to really organize them too much but um, so pouches are a good way to kind of keep things organized without necessarily micro organizing. So this is a, this is a system that is working for me. So I will probably do this and maybe even add a few more pouches with different categories of things that I reach for all the time. A couple of years ago, I was on the Simple Stories design team and they sent me tons and tons and tons of stickers for every collection while I was on the team. And so I started organizing the stickers in this photo box. This system, it pretty much works. Um, I just kind of organized them by, I took some just, you know, random cardboard and used it as sort of a sandwich so I could pull out whatever collection or theme that I was working on. So for example, these are all of the activity icons. So these are clear stickers here. Alphas, numbers, and then I go into some of the collections. Carpe diem. Sunshine and happiness. This actually is a good way to house things. The only problem is I actually never got around to making tabs, like tab labels. So I sometimes have to fish through to find what I need. And it doesn't take too long. But something I thought that I might do is to put a tab on each little folder to label it but that is something that that's a micro organizing kind of thing that I definitely wouldn't worry about it for now I do have more things in my um, more things that could fit in here but I didn't want to stuff it completely because then these four by six packs they stick up above the top of this box and so since I wanted to be able to put the lid on the box I kept it fairly loose in there so I would be able to put the box on the lid on and have it close just fine now for these binders I don't do decorative or creative planning every week it might happen every few weeks it might happen every few months it just depends on when I'm in the mood for it but I do like to have it organized so that um, I can find things a little bit easier, but it's it's really just out of control. I mean, I, I have a basic system, but I just need to purge, essentially. So I have them organized by um, Shimmers and Sparkles plans or Sass plans. I have, she is a close friend of mine in real life, and she owns a sticker shop, and I have a ton of her stickers, so I just have them all in one binder, or most of them in one binder. Seasonal stickers, this is basically organized. I'm gonna show you inside. Um, for uh, January through December, kits. And so these, I kind of keep to the side. I don't normally put these all on my desk at one time because I don't, I don't need to reach for them when I'm planning every week. For example, if I'm, if I'm taking a kit, I can just find that one kit and use that and then put this binder away. 
then rainbow rainbow just means little odds and ends that are organized by color functional is all of my boxes headers um, checklists and then deco deco is the main one that has a little bit of everything now I'll go ahead and go inside each of these and show you how I have it set up again warning it looks probably super sloppy this is not a tutorial <laughs> this is me just showing you what I'm working with and then once I get it all pared down I'll do another video someday um, to show you what I how I changed the system but I know that a lot of people have asked about these binders over time and so here goes so this is my shimmers and sparkles plans my sass plans um, binder this is an Avery um, I guess it's a half letter size binder it's one of the basic white ones with the sleeve up top and I just DIY'd <laughs> a little fabric cover using fabric and glue and that's it um, if you want to see how if you want a tutorial on how I made this I will be happy to show you so I don't have any real system for how I organize these I just have them I guess they're by kit and um, some of these she still sells, some of them are older kits that I have not wanted to part with. Before I separated some of the things out, I had her boxes and headers, some of her event icons, and different things all in this same binder. I've taken those out, but um, so this was how I was labeling them. I just slapped some washi tape on the sleeve and labeled whatever was inside this is my rainbow and it's not really rainbow it's just it's supposed to be organized by color I don't know if it is right now we'll see uh, again this is another um, fabric cover that I made with just glue and a really pretty floral fabric I believe from Hobby Lobby so I'm starting here with just stickers that, they're just multicolored stickers basically. They're not actual kits. Um, I can't put them into a special category name. So again, as you see, lots of just multicolored things or multicolors on one sheet that I just couldn't, didn't feel like they fit in my, my other binders. Uh, and then my goal is to have these pages um, more organized by color. So I would have my red, pinks, orange, you know, all my Roy G. Biv stuff as best as I could um, into some. So I would have multicolored miscellaneous here and then organized by color here. These you can always find in um, the Target dollar spot with their planner stuff. I thought these were actually a good idea to use in these Avery binders or even you know the Target the Target binders for stickers that you want to just you know put in there really quickly and be able to grab out fast. I just haven't gotten to that point yet. So that is my rainbow binder. Those were the um, half letter binders. Now the other ones that I have are A5 planners. Again, since I was on the um, Simple Stories design team, I got a bunch of A5 planners while I was on while I was on their design team. I wasn't and I am not ready to part with my A5 binders, so I thought it would be a great idea to actually use the binders as the sticker storage and they make me smile much more than those Avery half letter binders do. So this is my seasonal stickers. I don't keep this on my main planner desk. I keep it um, on another part of my studio. And just some miscellaneous stuff here. My labeling system here is pretty janky. I didn't want to do anything like permanent or that took a long time because I wanted to
be more sure if this system was going to work and exactly what I wanted. So it's all sort of temporary and just thrown together. So now we have all of these um, setups that we no longer use or I know I have a bunch of setups that I no longer use and instead of just letting them sit sit there go to waste or throw them away I thought it made a, it was a great idea to use these dashboards use these dividers as um, dividers for the sticker storage and then when I am sure of what I want to do I will you know make nicer tabs to cover up what's here so this is actually a calendar page that I didn't end up using. And then I just stuck my stickers on there. I just, I rolled up washi and used that to stick all the stickers down. It took a lot more time than just say taking a piece of washi and then taping it on top like that. Well, a couple of reasons. Sometimes the sticker, the washi can pull up the colors of the stickers. I didn't want anything like that going on. Another reason was it sort of gave me more space to push stickers up to the top of the page or the bottom of the page or the side or whatever if I didn't have to worry about the washi taking up part of that space. So Plus it just makes it easier for me to see the actual sticker versus my eye getting distracted by the colors and the washi tape. So I took a lot of time and just made a bunch of these little uh, washi loops with, you know, washi that I wasn't really using. So I think I initially started setting this, uh oh, where'd that go? I initially started setting this binder up in the fall of last year. And so that's why it starts with fall um, and they're just some of the stickers that I have not yet used and still have fantasies of using someday. I know that I will have to face the fact that I won't be able to use all these and I'll need to get rid of them, but um, some of them I just don't. It's really hard to get rid of stickers that you love, even if you know you won't make use of them. I'm working on that. I love this kit. Okay, so if you still have some A5 setups, that's, this is a good way you know, to use them if they're just sitting around not being used. I didn't want to have to cut down and hole punch a bunch of paper or waste a bunch, not waste, but you know, I already had a bunch of just different inserts that I wasn't using anymore. And it just made sense to just use the A5 inserts. You'll also notice that I have sleeves in here along with these A5 inserts. Simple Stories makes these sleeves that work really well for A5. They actually come with only two holes because they're not made for the A5s. They're made for Simple Stories snap binders which have two holes in them. But if so, those are the two holes there and then you just punch another hole on each side of that and then it works great for A5. They are, as you can see, wide though in, com in comparison to an A5 sheet. So, um, but it's not, you know, it, it goes right up to the edge, but it's not a big deal. I think if I had more of these, I would definitely be putting them into use. So like these, um, these snap, uh, Simple Stories snap binder, sleeves they um they're as you can see the difference between let me see if, uh the difference between those and the way that your like half letter size avery sleeves are the avery sleeves have these holes and they don't match up with a5 um holes and i was not about to washi tape over it and then hole punch re-hole punch um so I'm only using the Simple Stories ones in my A5 binders and then these in my half letter ones. So basically what I've done or what my intention is 
um, is to just use these for like full kits instead of putting each kit on one on each page like if I have a bunch like this I could stick them all in here ah, I was looking for this <laughs> I've been wanting to use this all summer I'm taking it out now <laughs> This is um, an Erin Condren monthly sticker sheet. <laughs> and this is the problem. I make these systems and then I just forget what I did and how I like organize it. Like, duh, it makes sense. It's in your summer section. Didn't I? Yeah, totally forgot to use that too. I have my full kits in here Look at this chaos so I went like ridiculously crazy but all of these stickers from Michaels when they first came out and used very few of them so it's just, as you see, there are just different kits in here. So again, you see I'm just using old inserts and I've glued, or not glued, taped everything on with washi. Ooh, this should be in seasonal for fall. Should. I'm gonna take this out because this is definitely a fall kit. But yeah, most of these are general. Oh, this would be fall too. See, I I'm not even gonna keep. <laughs> I I don't know what what was happening here. Ideally, I would have all my seasonal and my kits together, but I have to purge and. Um, as we established, that is a difficult thing. This is my functional sticker binder. This is one that I do reach for on a regular basis when I'm doing my creative planning. I guess these must have been something that I need to you know, organize into here, but they're just there for now. These dividers came from um, Fun Stampers Journey with another planner that I got from them. And so we have, uh, let's see, checklists. Dots, and dots are, you know, circles, hearts, stars, whatever, like bullet points basically. A lot of these are from sassplans.etsy.com, Shimmers and Sparkles on Instagram. These are my favorite dots to use ever. I think these are Happy Planner. I don't have, um, I have maybe three or four Happy Planner books, but um, I just either keep those together or take the pages out and put them in here. I don't use uh, the discs for my Happy Planner stuff. This is uh, the flags section. Not very many of those. Uh, and then boxes and headers. last section is labels so I can fit more in here I have a good chunk of stickers that still need to be organized but this system actually this binder works really well for me so that's my functional binder this binder is my deco binder and it's pretty much just kind of all of the main stuff that I use 
um, on a regular basis when I am planning. So again, this is a Simple Stories A5 binder, Carpe Diem A5 binder. And again, it has my temporary tabs on there. These labels, as far as like what they actually say, pretty much work for me, but I might, I don't know, I might change them up a little bit. So this is my calendar, and this has all of the things with like, as far as dates, um, things with weekly, and just stuff that have to do with what's on the calendar. Trackers, um, I don't know why I have this here. Bill pay, I don't think goes there. Um, let's see. The next section is common activities. This is a section that I really need to think through better how I want to um, separate this stuff out because there is quite a bit in here and it's not easy to find what I have in here. So, um, so I have my um, little icons for different activities. Um, there's some coffee stuff, errands, chores, got some what, Instagram photo stickers, fitness, health and fitness type stuff. So yeah, I think, I don't know, I think I want to, I think I want to do something like a health and wellness uh, section chores and then miscellaneous around the house stuff just to make it easier to find things let's see some creativity planning type of stuff here mail so the next section is uh accents and deco And uh, it's just exactly that, just little things that, you know, just little things that add a little extra something. But this, I could, my pity tracker, I don't think it goes in this section. So let me move that out of there. Um, this pity tracker, if you don't already have one, this is from... Well, it was Pink Bow Ties. She's now Capital Chic Designs, or Capital Chic. My next one is characters, and so I have mini characters, and this actually shouldn't be here. Um, mini characters and um, then focal point characters. This is not really a character that, um, I would probably, this is a character, this is more of a sleep, so I would actually probably more so want to put this with, like, the activities in the previous section. Um, so yeah, just little miscellaneous thing. A lot of the stuff that you see here, some of it I bought, but a lot of it I got from friends or from Giveaways that I've won here and there, a whole lot are from um, different meetups that I've gone to over the last few years. Okay, so this section here is my um, focal point characters, and these are just larger ones that would um, I would kind of use to maybe design a layout around it, not just as a small accent. Let's see, next, words. So you saw already how I kept a lot of the word strips and so these are just some that aren't necessarily word strips or maybe just some extras, um, extra copies. So I have words and then some alphas in here. So as you can see, some of the stuff is kind of, I've. I don't know, they were repetitive. I have, you know, it's split apart into different binders. So I definitely, I need to purge and I need to consolidate and um, make this system a bit more efficient. 
if you noticed I don't have my planner society stuff in here I don't have my planners anonymous stuff in here and then I have just a big bin of other stickers that aren't organized yet I still use them they just aren't organized yet so I haven't shown you any of that stuff so I got a lot to figure out but I just wanted to show you what I'm working with for now and at some point I'll do a follow-up video. Thanks so much for sharing your time with me. I really appreciate it and make sure you come and say hi on Instagram at Yes Please Planning. Bye bye!